first start of the school year, I had no idea what Avid was. Last year in sixth grade, they like my teacher told me that we were going to be taking stuff like Cornell Notes, which I had no idea which it was. So I am new to the whole Avid thing, but I really do like it. I really love my teacher. She cares about me and my grades, which will help me because you can do anything in life. You just need someone to believe in you. And of course I have my parents, but you know, it's good to have your teachers on your side too. I'm thinking of being a, a science teacher and Avid helped me with that because it helped me get good grades and helped me study science even more. When I grow up, I want to be an FBI agent and Avid helps me with that so I can like, learn some stuff that I need to learn to be an FBI person. I want to be a designer, whether it's architecture, whether it's designing cars, or you know, I wanted to design something. I want to become an interior designer. I want to design the inside of houses or any other type of buildings. Avid helps me achieve that dream by keeping me organized and keeping my grades up. Avid, like, it's gonna help me because, for one, like, it's all about college and college and college and then after college. Uh, I would like to be a math teacher when I grow up and Avid would help me by um, getting some good grades. Uh, it would keep me organized and it would help me go through college well. We get a lot of new teachers at Granite Park every year and they're, we're really concerned about making sure that everybody knows how to use AVID strategies at the school. So we incorporate that into our professional development regularly to help those new teachers to learn how to use Cornell Notes, how to use Wicker strategies, how to put essential questions on the board, binders, binder checks, setting up binders, and all of those things that we do regularly. And really, it's not just the new teachers that we do those kinds of trainings for. We do it ongoingly for all of our teachers. Teachers that have been here longer can help out the new teachers, they share strategies, different ideas and tips for being able to, for example, check on planners or how to set up their whiteboards and those types of things. We also use our Great Beginnings mentoring program to help with our newest teachers to make sure they're also able to understand and incorporate the AVID strategies that we use school-wide. AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. I use our Ricker strategies every day in my classroom. I have them posted next to the EQ, and my students know that we will be involved in reading, writing, inquiry, and collaborative groups almost on a daily basis. When I use AVID strategies in my classroom, I see um, an increase in student understanding, comprehension. They're able to grasp the concept more and really um, focus on and complete the task that I'm setting for them. To be an AVID demo school, it means that our kids are uh, practicing the AVID uh, strategies, mainly a lot of wicker. They have the AVID classes. Uh, the students are a lot more motivated to learn, which is a great benefit to me as a math teacher. Wicker strategies, some of them I use almost every day. Others it takes, it like writing, we don't do a lot of writing in the math. We do some, but uh, we use the wicker strategies mainly for inquiry because inquiry is problem solving in mathematics. I utilize my uh, AVID trained coworkers to find new AVID strategies. I use uh, the AVID English workbook that I have and then also of course um, there's a lot of great information on the internet. I believe that my students are able to learn more effectively, remember what they learn by using their Cornell notes specifically for that strategy. Uh, they have they build the Cornell notes and review them. They're more prepared for the test. So there's notes, and then there's Cornell notes, and Cornell notes, there's your notes, and then you need to write your questions for your notes, and then there's topics for your notes, and then there's your essential question, and then your summary. So in every class, or in any of our classes, we have to take Cornell notes, and these notes are based on subjects that we're learning in that class. I use Cornell notes in my math class, my reading class, uh, Spanish. Uh, I use them in percussion, I also use them in PE, and science. All students take these notes because they want to know about that subject and when they go home if they don't get that subject then you just look at your notes and your answers are right there. You can write questions and then you can test yourself to see what you know. The summary is basically answering all the questions all in one paragraph. 
I don't particularly like writing the questions, but I realize it makes your you as yourself go more in depth into what you're taking notes in. I use it a lot and also it helps me get almost straight A's. Kind of like it's a lot more organized than just taking regular notes and just jotting stuff down. Avid helps me like to get ready for college and to help me with stuff I don't learn, know yet. Like when they do tutorials, like when you're stuck on something, it helps you. So if you're like confused in something, the tutorials are just so you g can go into a little bit more depth into that subject. TRFs are used for if you have a trouble in subjects, then you would write down the subject about what it is, such as density or volume. Then you would write down what you know and what the problem is. Then in your tutorial groups, uh, they would help you like ask questions or they would help you understand what you are having trouble with. I like tutorials because like when you're stuck on a question, you can go to your average class and the tutors over there can help you. And once you get your answer to your topic or subject, then you will understand more better in your class and then you will do great. Where are you from? I'm from Djibouti, but I like to say that I'm from Ethiopia. I came here on September 27, 2010. My parents, because they brought me here before war came to where I came from, and when I came to Granite Park, I took AVID. It really helped me so much, and I understand more often than usual nowadays. My name is Hasna Muse, and I'm an AVID student. We are Granny Park. We are an avid. 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 Demonstration. School.